Eisenbach Gap Deluxe with excellent unphotorealistic box art and additional pre-order bonus scenario are here. Looks like it's just one scenario. Maybe there's two. Let's open. Oh, there are at least two. Let's open it. It's the summer of 1985 and the world is at war. So this is the game that started the World at War series. Um, this is the newly published deluxe version. I read online it bothered someone that this is landscape and this is portrait. Um, I'm pretty anal, but I didn't even notice. Here's the back. Um, the box has a nice texture to it. It's all linen finish, uh, whereas the other ones are kind of a gloss. And I should probably... Never mind. Uh, standard lock and load, big chunky dice. Uh, gonna have a tub full of these pretty soon. So the big question is what's different in this than the original and the honest answer is I have no idea. Um, I will comment on what's different to America, America Conquered as far as um, how things look in general. So 12 pages of rules. I guess the mortar fire in this is a little bit different. Um, but I'm not sure if, if this is the most recent rule book or if America Conquered is. Um, they look pretty close to me. Still no counter diagram in the rules, but say la vie. Um, this is just the two scenarios, it's just one sheet, but that's still more than... I don't really remember that being the bonus. Um, six scenarios in the book. A nice little order of battle breakdown, 12 pages of rules. What is that up? That's weird. So, page 17, page 19. Okay, no, yeah. For some reason, I can't count. Oh, I see. This has uh, the death of the first Panzer included. Oh, that's fun. It probably said as much. Uh, so there's six Eisenbach Gap scenarios, and it looks like six six scenarios for death of the first Panzer. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I order these and then forget what I'm getting in them. So here's the counter diagram, player aid. Oh. Very nice. Two player aids and terrain charts. Um, whereas America Conquered has two sheets, but they're two different things. This is the same on both, which I kind of like. Oh yeah, these are these are really nice. Same size as the rest of the World at War. Um, a nice linen -y finish. Oh, that's not good. There's some ink rubbing off there. I might have to see if I can get the. Yeah, I have to see if I can get some new ones. One thing I do like about this game is it has a turn marker. Oh yeah, that's not good. A couple issues there with ink rubbing off somehow. I don't see anything. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see anything on the player aids that they rubbed off on. But probably, yeah, probably not a huge issue getting them replaced. But it will make the game kind of tough to play. Yeah, can't really see what. I guess that's ten four four. Anyway, probably not a huge issue there getting it replaced. And then 
the boards here. So there's a small board there, which must be the death of first Panzer, and then the, they both say Eisenbach Gap on them. But small board. I like the terrain on this one. There's a little bit more to it. Than the America Conquered ones. Yeah, these are nice. There's nice buck there. Super cool. I really like the terrain chart up there. The nice, clean, you can tell what everything is. Decent sized Texas as usual. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the terrain chart. So other than some missing ink issues, excellent, excellent implementation of the counters for World War Eisenbach Cap.